Hello! Back at the campground so you can see the... You can't see um, my van. Hello! Back at the campground so you can see the... You can't see um, my van. Kind of just behind this building. But this is uh, basically the walk into town. Into Stratford. So... <laughs> just seems quite bizarre really. That there's a... They, it's a really good idea, so they basically when there's no races on they just turn it into a campground. I started walking across here this way and then thought surely it can't be you know, this can't be the right way, but uh, the lady, one of the ladies that runs the campground she was there in her car and she said no no you can walk through it's all open so <laughs> so this is Stratford race course so yeah, the camp site's really good. It's just, it's, it's not a membership one. Quite a lot of the campsites in the UK are, belong to certain clubs, like there's a caravan and camping club, and there's a motorhome campervan club. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, of the, the exact names, but basically... They tend to be good value if you're a member, but to be a member costs like £40 a year, so it's not a huge amount. I'm not entirely sure how much you save. I've not really looked into them because, to be honest, I probably won't use their campsites that much. But, um, but this one isn't. This is like an independent one. So it's, it's basically £15 for a motorhome or camper van, but... Uh, because I'm only one person and I do technically have a tent <laughs> um, they've given me it for £10 I don't think they're expecting me to put my tent up <laughs> uh, so your £10 would allow you in with a car with a vehicle and a tent so it, I guess it's just a bit you know there's some people near me huge motorhome with huge awnings and taking up loads of ground and there's two of them and they're basically paying 15 pretty much what I would have paid so yeah it's just one of those things I mean obviously I'm on my own so there's going to be times when I'm going to pay pretty much double what a couple would pay and it's fair enough if you're taking up a pitch uh, but there's so much space here that you know really doesn't it's really not going to be taking up that much room and so yeah, so as you can see, it's a beautiful day. It's actually really, really hot for the UK, this. Uh, I think it's only like a, a low 20s, but it always feels a bit warmer here. Like when it's 30 degrees in London, it can feel horribly oppressive. Even I'd, I'd take Bangkok 35 degrees over London 30 degrees. <laughs> so anyway, I, I'm getting off the subject so yeah it's just really good so it's uh, 10 pound 15 they have free Wi-Fi it does kick you out now and again you have to sign in again but you know it's a small price to pay they have showers toilets bathroom water waste disposal for camp for most homes and it's really good and there's not that many people here obviously it's uh, Tuesday just out of, se <coughs> out of the high season I, mean, I guess any like days they have the races here it's going to be really busy and also in the summer holidays kind of July, August oh, it's going to be busy because everywhere it's busy in the UK during that time and uh, also most definitely the whole of Europe <laughs> is really busy so she told me to walk towards those train carriages and then there'll be some kind of path there into Shakespeare, into Shakespeare into Shakespeare's original town so I'm not going to do the tour of his original birthplace because 
it's 17 pounds it's too much for me for one thing I'm not going to pay that for that and I was reading a little bit of history and apparently it's not 100% proof it's actually the the place where he was born or grew up the building so I'm not sure <laughs> I'll go and have a look at it from the outside anyway uh, I've got tomorrow I'm heading down to Oxford tomorrow to meet a friend and heading over to East Anglia to where I'm from to meet my family for the weekend and I'm not really sure my plans beyond that so so now I'm not entirely sure where I'm going but I'm gonna probably walk from where that lady with the three dogs came from two of which are not my favorite kind of dogs really <laughs> pardon me I like dogs but not the kind of ones that attack children and people okay well that's all for today and uh, yeah I've, I'll, I'll come back soon no doubt okay that's all bye bye
that's how I find a lot of these places is on Google Maps and you know that you get reviews on there and um, but they were awesome they fixed it and uh, you know hopefully hopefully it's all good they said the brakes are really quite new there's no should be no problem but I now have a brake uh, indicator light on my dashboard which they said should go eventually but um, but it's okay for now, I probably need to get it sorted. So, yeah, another little issue, but uh, hopefully resolved. And yeah, so this is the plan. I've just been to a, like a B&M store, which is like a kind of Kmart kind of place. You know, they sell, sell all sorts of stuff, relatively cheap. I don't want to spend too much fitting out van initially because I'm, I'm still not sure if I'm going to make, you know, do it properly with units and everything or whether I'm going to do kind of temporary pop-up <laughs> kind of stuff. Um, I'll go into more detail later but I managed to get a couple of large uh, boxes, uh, like plastic containers because all my stuff's like rattling around everywhere and it's driving me crazy so I uh, know just behind the seat there, I'll show you later, it's not much really but I kind of, at least it's a bit ne neater and tidier in the back and my sister's kindly taken some of my, my stuff for long term storage that I don't need and uh, yeah I'm really good to go now on the adventure so um, and I've had a like, really nice few days with my family, very funny last night, really stupid games like when you hold the your head like the phone app and it you have to the others have to describe to you that kind of craziness it was really funny though so we had a lovely night and i've just been chilling out uh today I used my mum's wi-fi <laughs> very quick and yeah so we're going to drive a couple of hours tonight like i said stay up somewhere around cambridge and then hit the road again tomorrow see where we end up but um, okay, well I'm gonna get back to listening to my music now, and uh, I'll um, come back a bit later, probably tomorrow, and talk a bit more about what I'm planning to do with the band, what I'm planning to do on my trip. And yeah, until then, enjoy the ride.